Endometrial ablation, Wikipedia audio. Endometrial ablation is an outpatient medical procedure that is used to remove or destroy the endometrial lining of the utera uterus in women who have heavy menstrual bleeding. Endometrial ablation should never be performed on women who wish to have children. Endometrial ablation is most often employed in women who suffer from excessive menstrual bleeding, who have failed medical therapy and do not wish to undergo a hysterectomy. Heavy menstrual bleeding is most commonly due to dysfunctional uterine bleeding or adenomyosis. The procedure is almost always performed as an outpatient treatment, either at the hospital, ambulatory surgery center, or physician office. The endometrial ablation procedure is primarily performed while patients are under local and slash or light sedative anesthesia, or if necessary, general or spinal anesthesia. Patients normally leave the treatment facility within one hour following the procedure and generally spend one day resting at home, before returning to the activities of daily living. After the procedure, the endometrium heals by scarring over, thus reducing or eliminating future uterine bleeding. The patient's hormonal functions will remain unaffected because the ovaries are left intact. Placenta accreta may occur if the patient becomes pregnant after endometrial ablation, so birth control is necessary. Risks Depending on the treatment that is chosen, endometrial ablation is sometimes conducted after treatment with hormones, such as norethisterone or luprin to reduce the thickness of the endometrium. Although rare, the procedure can have serious complications including Perforation of the uterus, burns to the uterus, pulmonary edema or embolism, bowel burn leading to death, post-ablation tubal sterilization syndrome. Women who wish to become pregnant should not undergo endometrial ablation, pregnancy is rare and can have mortal risks for the mother and child. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approves and audits clinical studies to test and evaluate the effectiveness of all endometrial ablation treatments. Two patient effectiveness outcomes are measured at one year following treatment, one success rate equals the percent of women who have their bleeding reduced to a normal period level or less, and two amenorrhea rate equals the percent of women that have their bleeding completely eliminated. According to the results of the randomized controlled trials performed for the FDA approval of the different treatment options, effectiveness success rates range from a high of 93% to a low of 67%, and the amenorrhea rates range from a high of 72% to a low of 22%. A number of treatment options are available. They all work by destroying the endometrium the lining of the uterine cavity. Older methods utilize hysteroscopy to insert instruments into the uterus to destroy the lining under visualization using a laser, or microwave probe. The Novasure, Endometrial Ablation System, FDA approved in 2001 utilizes a metallized mesh electrode array that is introduced into the uterine cavity applying bipolar electrical energy that creates heat to ablate the endometrium. The Novasure average procedure time is 5 minutes from device insertion to removal and is usually performed under local and slash or conscious sedation anesthesia. Most patients leave the treatment center within one hour of treatment. In the Novasure randomized controlled trial for FDA approval, the success rate was 78% and amenorrhea rate was 36%. In addition, 92% of the Novasure patients were satisfied. Sterilization Effectiveness Treatment Options <laughs>